how to earn $500, no, even $6,000 on cryptocurrency in less than one month. Do you need an initial capital of hundreds of thousands of dollars for that? Or will you have to wait for years? You could have done this twice in 2024. The first time in 9 days in January. If you had bought one Bitcoin on January 1st for $42,200 and sold it on January 10th for $46,900, your net profit would be $4,700. And the second time in 10 days of March with the rise from $67,700 to $73,700 you would have made a profit of $6,000. But what if you don't have this $62,000 to buy one whole Bitcoin? That's okay, you can buy Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies with any amount. Even $100 is enough to start. But let's start with the declared goal of $500. What do you need to know and to do to make $500 even if you never dealt with crypto before? We'll be using the Bybit exchange. At the time of recording, it ranks on the top 10 global exchanges and is second in derivatives. By registering through my link in the description, you can receive up to $30,000 in bonuses. Link in the description. And our work will consist of just three simple steps. But before we begin, subscribe to my free Telegram channel where I show working tools for earning money and try to protect you from scammers. They are everywhere nowadays. The link in the description. How do we know what to buy, sell and when to do it? For this, we go to the CoinMarketCap website. Here there is a list of cryptocurrencies with their current prices and history. The top 10 coins are the most stable and reliable. This doesn't guarantee they won't drop in price, but it greatly reduces your risk. Why should you work with the top ranked coins? To compare, ask yourself, which is more likely to go bankrupt? For example, Apple, a company that has been in the market for 48 years, or a young entrepreneur who just launched a startup and hopes to make millions? I think the answer is obvious, and the same principle applies here. Let's start with the simplest and the most reliable way to make money in crypto with the minimal risk. This is spot trading. Yes, the term sounds scary, but it's basically just buying and selling crypto without complications. And it works by one golden rule. Buy low and sell high. Always. If you bought Bitcoin for $40,000 and it dropped to $20,000, don't panic and sell, claiming crypto crashed. No, just Wait, the Bitcoin itself doesn't disappear, it just drop in price. Your task is just to wait. And there was already a situation when Bitcoin rebounded from a similar drop to $67,000. Imagine how the panickers felt when they sold their Bitcoin bought at $40,000 for $20,000, losing $20,000 more. They could have made a $20,000 profit by waiting. To make money this way, you only need to three things. First, choose a coin. Second, choose when to buy and sell. And third, proceed the transactions. Let's apply this in practice. Go back to CoinMarketCap and choose from the top 10 coins. Here they are. Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are essential in crypto, so we will work with them. USDT and USDC. These are essential dollars in the crypto world. USDT is currently more popular. BNB, Binance Coin, is reliable and can be traded. XRP and TON, both are solid and good coins. Solana has growth potential but is highly volatile. Everything I say is not a financial advice, just my personal opinion. For example, Dogecoin is a speculative meme coin mainly promoted by Elon Musk, which is why I don't recommend it dealing with it. I also pay attention to coins like Chainlink, Sui, Optimism, Arbitrum and Stark, which are not in the top 10 but are worth trading for both short-term and long-term profits. Now we will focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum for safer and practical learning. Step 2. Choose when to buy and sell. Next, we head to CoinMarketCap and focus on Bitcoin. Yes, we will work with Bitcoin and our main goal is to learn how to read the price charts. 
Here's a Bitcoin price chart. The most important thing is to first set the time frame you want to analyze. For example, if we set it to a day, we can see that overall the price hasn't changed much, currently at $60,800, which you can see at the top of the chart. As we move the cursor over the chart, we can track what the price was at any given time. Now let's analyze further. Over the past 7 days, we were plus minus in one price range, so a little growth. Over months, we can see that an overall direction is upward. Over one year, we also observe growth. This helps us understand the general trend and identify if we are in a good position to buy or sell. In conclusion, we need to understand where we are and define our goals. If your goal is short-term speculation, then look at the past 7 days. The price has resigned significantly, which is a good sign for quick trades. If you are planning to invest long term, even buying Bitcoin right now wouldn't be a mistake. Historically, Bitcoin tends to grow over time, so holding it can yield solid returns in the future. Step 3. Executing the trades technically. This step is really the easiest, and you'll be surprised how the fast and simple it is to earn through cryptocurrency if you follow the right actions. Before we start trading, we need to ensure our funds are in the spot account. Here's how to do it. Go to the Assets section and make sure your money is in the spot account. If your funds are in other account like funding, follow these steps. Go to Funding, click on Transfer, select Spot Account or Unified Trading Account UTA, it depends on your settings, and then choose USDT. Transfer either all or the required amount of money, confirm the transfer. Transfers between accounts are free and without any fees, so you can move funds back and forth easily. Now let's go to the trading section and choose Spot Trading. Spot Trading is the simplest form of trading without any complexities. Although the interface may seem hard at first, but follow these steps and it will be very simple. We'll be trading Bitcoin, so select Bitcoin in the top left corner. You can switch between different cryptocurrencies here. For instance, if you want to trade Ethereum, click on it and Ethereum price chart will appear. Alternatively, you can search for the coin by typing BTC slash USDT in the search bar. Now select Bitcoin to start trading. Everything is set. You've selected Bitcoin and now you are ready to trade. Now let's not focus on the chart, it can be overwhelming for beginners. When you are just starting out, the charts and graphs can seem confusing and overwhelming. But don't worry, let's keep things simple. At this point, we are only interested in the right hand side of the interface, where we'll be buying Bitcoin at the market price. Here's what you need to do. First, check the current price of Bitcoin. For example, right now the price is shown as $62,300. Second, select market, which means you'll buy Bitcoin at the current price, and specify how much Bitcoin you want to buy. For instance, you decide to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. And third, click buy and confirm the transaction. Once you've confirmed, the system will execute the order. You can check if the purchase was successfully by going to the trade history at the bottom of the page. Here you'll see that you bought Bitcoin for $99.99 and the price at the time was $62,327. If you now need to sell the Bitcoin, you just bought the market price, follow these steps. First, click on sell, make sure Bitcoin is selected. Second. Choose the amount of Bitcoin you want to sell. You can either type in the exact amount or select 100% if you want to sell everything. Third, confirm the sale by clicking Sell. This process is called selling at market price or market order. It's very straightforward and in this example I am showing you how it works technically. And this isn't for profit, as you might lose a little in quick buy and sell trades, but it's valuable for understanding the mechanics. Now let's move to earning with limit orders. A limit orders allows you to set a price at which you want to buy or sell Bitcoin. 
And this is one of the best, simplest way to trade on exchange. Here's how to set up a limit order. First, let's say the current price of Bitcoin is $62,189, but you want to buy it when it drops to $61,000. Third, select limit order and specify that you want to buy Bitcoin at $61,000. Third, enter the amount you want to buy. For example, you want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. First, confirm the order and it will appear in your current orders. Your order will sit there until the price drops to $61,000 and the trade is executed. You don't pay anything to keep the order open. Once the Bitcoin is bought at your target price, the next step is to set a limit order to sell it at a higher price and make profit. For example, you bought Bitcoin for $61,000 and you now set a limit order to sell it at $63,000. In the order, specify the amount of Bitcoin you want to sell, the amount you just bought. If you bought $100 worth of Bitcoin at $61,000 and sell it at $63,000, you'll make a profit of approximately $2. Now you've set the task for the exchange to sell your Bitcoin when the price hits $63,000. You can check your current orders to see both buy and sell orders waiting to be executed. You don't have to sit and monitor the charts all day. Simply observe the overall market trend, buy when prices are lower and sell when prices are higher by setting these limit orders. To keep track of your earnings and losses, you need to record every trade, when you entered, when you closed, at what price and for how much. This can be done using automatically tools like CoinMarketCap or DropStep. These services allow you to add your portfolio and track your trades automatically, helping you manage your crypto investment efficiently. How to work with this platform? Both on CoinMarketCap or DropStep, you start by registering on the platform. After that, you can add your portfolio and include all your assets. For example, if you hold Ethereum, you can click at Add a Trade, enter all the relevant details and platform will calculate everything automatically for you. Now for the exciting part. How you can make $500 without a huge investment? You would have needed to invest $1,000 in Bitcoin on January 21st and sell it on March 1st of this year. There have been countless opportunities like this throughout the year. However, the strategy works only if you are technically proficient and have already practiced and refined your approach. 